to the program. Girls can grow up to do just about anything boys can do. And our next report is an interview with Sally Ride, who became our first woman astronaut in space. Sally Ride is a scientist, as well as being an astronaut. She's one smart lady. Listen carefully as she tells the kids show what it takes to be a successful woman surrounded by a lot of successful men. Good morning. I'm Erica Delores reporting for Kid Show. Did you know that the word astronaut comes from two Greek words that mean sailor among the stars? An astronaut is an American pilot or a scientist who travels and works in space. I'm here at the Johnson Space Center with astronaut Sally Ride. Ms. Ride is the first U.S. woman astronaut who went into space on the space shuttle. Sally, at what age did you first know you wanted to be an astronaut? And also, why? I don't remember when I first wanted to be an astronaut. I know that if you had asked me when I was 10 years old or 11 years old, I would have said, yeah, I'd love to do that. I didn't think about it as a career, really, until I was about 25 or 26. That's when it, when it first really became possible. And why I wanted to be an astronaut, I don't know. I just, it's just something that I always wanted to do. It seemed like it'd be fun to be up in space, and it'd be a good way to use the science training that I had um, in sort of a profitable way. First of all, to be an astronaut, one has to have a certain kind of education. Could you please tell us about it, Sally? Sure. Um, science and math are really important, even, um, even back in elementary and junior high school, because if you don't take those courses back then, then you won't have the opportunity when you get to high school and college to study the things that you need to study to become an astronaut. My background is in physics and astronomy. A lot of astronauts have backgrounds in medicine or geology or oceanography. What's important is to get the, the science and math in whatever scientific field you're interested in. Take lots of um, algebra courses, geometry courses, that, that kind of thing, and uh, prepare yourself for, for the science. What are the different kinds of training programs an astronaut must go through, and how long do they take? We have a lot of different types of training programs but most of them are um, training programs to learn about the space shuttle. So they're programs that, that put you in the classroom a lot, just learning things. They're programs that put you in the simulators, practicing what you've learned. A simulator is exactly like a space shuttle. It's run by computers, and we walk into, into a room that looks just like the space shuttle with all the dials and switches and knobs in exactly the right places, and we practice everything that we're going to do on orbit. We've also got uh, training programs that have us fly in the uh, training jets that NASA has, and we've got a water, water survival program that goes along with flying in those training jets. And all together, those programs take, oh, maybe three or four years once you become an astronaut before you're really ready for a space flight. Can you tell us about your duties on board the space shuttle? I've been on two space shuttle flights so far, and my duties were pretty much the same on both of them. I'm one of the scientist astronauts, and on both flights, I was um, the astronaut who helped out during launch and entry, kind of like a flight engineer on an airplane. So I read, read the checklists and read the procedures on, the, on our way into orbit on launch and on our way back from orbit on entry. Once we were in orbit, on my first flight, I helped um, release two communication satellites that we carried. We carried one for the country of Indonesia and one for Canada. And I also used the, uh, the robot arm, 50-foot long arm, to pick a satellite up out of the space shuttle and release it back into orbit and then catch it again. Then on my second flight, we, we carried the robot arm again, and I got to use it to release another satellite. And we also carried a lot of uh, geology experiments, experiments that were looking down at the Earth to learn about earthquakes and volcanoes and uh, other geology features. Sally, when you're not on a space mission, what are your other duties here at NASA? When I'm not on a space mission or training for a space, space mission, and the training can take up to a year, um, I'm usually working to support other astronauts on their space flights. For example, um, on the next couple of flights, I'm going to be a capsule communicator, the CAPCOM, which is the astronaut who talks to the crew while they're in orbit. So there's a lot of work that needs to be done by the people that stay behind on the ground to make sure that the astronauts in orbit are able to do everything they're supposed to do. What, a great, what great things do you see for the future of the shuttle and the space program? Well, the shuttle's going to be going to be flying for a long time. It's going to be flying for at least at least 10 more years. 
and it's really our way to get into space. So it's going to be carrying the big telescopes that we're going to carry. It's going to carry all of the big satellites that we're going to carry. It's going to help us build the space station in five or six or seven years. So we really can't get into space without the space shuttle and all the things that we're going to be doing in space, whether it's looking at the stars or looking back at Earth or helping, helping make medicines in space or helping our communications processes, television, telephones. Um, we're going to be using the space shuttle to do all that. What advice would you have for kids who are thinking of becoming future astronauts? <laughs> do it. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. I think that the, most, the, the best advice that you can give to a kid who wants to become an astronaut is, um, is to study hard and, and to, to start reading up on the space program, but to get the background that will be needed um, in high school and in college to, to get the right to get the right uh, information. Thank you, Ms. Wright, for helping me do this astronaut report. One more thing. Can I please have your autograph? <laughs> sure. Here you go. Thank you. This is Erica Della Rosa reporting for Kids Show. We want to thank the folks at NASA for arranging Erica's interview with Sally Wright and for letting us use their pictures to illustrate that report. We appreciate it.